Hey boys, so we got a new round for the Stanley Cup playoff event and we drilled those predictions. I've been saying on my live stream on Twitch and in my YouTube videos that I'm almost positive that Phil Kessel and Duncan Keith would get the master set items and it literally came in the same uh, release. So we're going to get into those ones, see how they stack up with the other options and then also go over the new conference final cards that did come out. So let's jump into it. So we'll kick things off with the 91 to Chris Kreiner, 6'3", 224. That is elite size. Combine that with the fact he's got 99 speed, 97 acceleration, and 95 agility, along with high 80s, low 90s uh, shot, and then high 80s hand stats across the board, 91 stick checking. This is a really, really good winger card. Whenever you guys are asking for a cheaper, like around you know 150K, a little bit under uh, winger, Chris Kreiner is going to be the one I recommend. That is an awesome card for anyone trying to upgrade from uh, from the lower end team. Then we've got the 91, David Clarkson. Man, it has been a minute since uh, Clarkson's big season. 99 skating across the board, 6 foot 207. I thought he was bigger, to be honest with you. 94 shot power, 84 accuracy, and high 80s for his hand stats, plus 99 to body checking. His awareness stats, however, are brutal, and that is going to impact his ability to pick up passes, uh, as well as where his positioning is in the offensive and defensive zone. So to be honest, among 91s that you can get, I would actually not want this card. Then we've got the 92, Colin Miller, 6'1", 196, 99 skating across the board, 92 shot power. Accuracy is only at 86. Um, you know, fan fantastic for a right defenseman as well. It's passing and puck control at 92, body checking is 88, and awareness stats above 90. This is actually a low-key pretty good right-handed defenseman card. Um, and again, his price shouldn't be too um, bananas. I'm guessing around 150K. Let's see if there's any up in the market currently. I doubt it, but who knows. And there is, and 150. 129, uh, it's, it's probably going to fall even more. If it gets to like around 100K, that's a really good value. Then we've got the 92 Patrick Maroon, 6'3", 225. That is elite size skating. It's close enough, 97, 96, 97 for speed, acceleration, and agility. Doesn't have any speed synergies, though, which is kind of rough, but SP is going to make it, you know, 99. Uh, his shot in the, you know, roughly in the low 90s, body checking 94, and awareness stats in the 90s. This, I would much rather have this card than the David Clarkson. This would actually be a really, really good winger card just based on his size alone. Then we've got the 93, Justin Schultz, another right defenseman, 6'2", 99 skating across the board, 94 shot power, 89 accuracy. This is a really good right defenseman card as well. I'd rather have him than Colin Miller, but, I mean, those are those are pretty close. His body checking is 87, which is a little low, but he is 6'2", so that should be fine. Passing puck control, 94, and awareness stats above 90. Checks off all the boxes you need for a good right-handed defenseman. Then we've got the 93 Andrew Ladd. A lot of good cards in this release. Six foot three, 99 across the board. Shot above 90 as well. Body checking at 94. Wearing a sets just under 90. But again, another really good winger card for you guys that, uh, that's going to be useful in this meadow of like bigger players and whatnot. This is the kind of card that you want to look for. Then we've got 94, Michael Samuelson. Man, it has been a minute since Samuelson's been around. Six foot two, 218. He's good size, has X and 1T as synergies, which is great. 96 speed, acceleration, and agility at 95 and 94. So he does need those synergies to bump it up. His endurance is only 85, so watch that, which means that he's going to run out of energy quicker than most will. Shots above 90, hand stats above 90, body checking 94, and his awareness stats are 90, 90, 97. This is a really good right-handed winger card. The only thing that's really going to break the tie if you're looking for someone around the same overall is that endurance. Then we've got another right-handed defenseman and another good one, the 95 John Klingberg, 6'2", 99 skating, 96 power, 88 accuracy, hand stats all above 90. Uh, body checking is only 88, but his awareness stats in the mid to high 90s as well. Again, another really good right-handed defenseman card. I I have a feeling if his price is way too high, I mean, 95 overall, I could see him being like three, 400K. I'd probably avoid it just because I think that there's um, a couple better ones. 650 is way too much, so that would be a hard avoid from me. Then we've got the 96, Henrik Lundqvist, 6'1", 180. Unfortunately, he's got a really, really good build. It's just like he's just short like oh, six foot one is nothing crazy and unfortunately until that is resolved it's kind of just a you know pass and we've got the six foot four connor hellebuck which is far more usable his aggression is an 83 though if you are enjoying the ben bishop cards because they're a little bit more aggressive then this would be a really really good upgrade as well as his stats across the board are almost 99 so it means his timing and reaction saves are going to be really good combine that with the fact that he's six foot four um should be a really good goaltender 
Then the 98 Steven Stamkos, basically 99 everything um, other than body checking. At 6 one one ninety four. this is a really, really good winger card. If you can use right-handed centerman, also very good. Um, yeah, this is a this is an end game card for sure. Then we also have the ninety eight Eric Carlson. So uh, because he's right defense, um, the Eric Carlson cards have kind of been valuable the whole year because just there hasn't been a lot of good right defenseman cards. Now he is ninety nine skating across the board. Shot power of ninety seven and ninety four for uh, slap shot is potent, and you can also really pick corners with that wrist shot as well. Ninety nine hand stats. His body checking is only eighty eight, so you're gonna have a hard time getting pucks off of the bigger players. But awareness stats at ninety nine. This is a really, really good defenseman card. Like, I would, there's not very many I would rather have over him, to be honest, other than like Brent Burns. And I'd probably want to have this one over John Carlson as well. And then we're on to the master set, guys. We've got the 99 Phil Kessel. 99 everything. Um, six foot. This is, he plays really fast. His winter national card was fantastic combined with all the synergies he's got. This is one of the best right handed winger cards in the game. Um, and yeah, I would, I would be stoked to have him. He is definitely in the top four among uh, right winger cards. And then finally, we've got the 99 Duncan Keith. Man, I love the card art. Six foot one, 192, left shot defenseman. Basically, 99 everything as well. Just uh, his shot accuracy at 93 is a little bit low. I mean, he's a 99, so you can't really complain. And again, one of the top three left defensemen. I mean, the only other guys I'd rather have over him, to be honest with you, on that left side is probably Hedman and Chara, just because of size. And I wouldn't even rather have Chara over him. I would probably have Chara on that third pairing. Um, and Duncan Keith into the second. This is a fantastic defenseman card. So going over the sets that we have available here, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for it to trickle in. Again, I would, I don't think I would do the uh, the trade ins for like the twenty six to choose one or two of these guys. Again, the, I think the only one that's super worth it would be the Kopitar, and even that, that's really expensive at the cost of gold collectibles. If we're looking at the trade ins, um, you can trade in the ninety three Chara for a ninety nine Keith or Kessel. Do not do that, please. That is not uh, worth it in my opinion. And then you can also trade in the 95 Phil Housley for one of them. I would 100% do that because the Phil Housley combined with seven collectibles, I think, is right around good value. I'd probably And I would choose Kessel over um, Keith unless you've got a really stacked forward group. And then you can also do um, the heavy hitter Ryan Reeves. Uh, I would do that as well. That would be a good option. Um, and again, I like how they're doing random master set players to try and get them all in there. And then again, guys, don't forget to do the uh, the weekday challenges so that you can get a free 99 after all 31 are there. We're going to getting into that nitty gritty time where you can almost get one. And in terms of what ones to choose and what order, Kopitar is still number one among master set items. And then probably Kuznetsov and then Kessel and then Zetterberg. Um, Actually, I'd probably have Keith over Zetterberg and then um, and then Bork. So uh, those are kind of my rankings on those. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, boys.